cards. Let's talk boom cards. So today what we're going to do is we're going to look at, we're just going to look at boom cards. <laughs> we're going to look at some features you may not be aware of. We're going to look at the algorithm. And then I'm going to share my income because I get asked every so often, you know, how are you doing on boom cards? I'm doing great, baby. How are you doing? <laughs> Anyways, stay tuned. Hey everyone, my name is Laurieanne, and if you are new to this channel, welcome here at It's All Primary. We're talking teacher side hustles. And boom cards is turning into this big, wonderful marketplace that teachers can sell resources on. Now, boom learning is all about digital task cards. So when you go to boom learning, teachers post on that platform and it stays on that platform. When you choose to sell boom cards, you're selling actually just a link to your product. You're not actually getting, people are not getting necessarily a copy, a PDF or anything, though boom cards are printable. But I wanted to share a couple things about boom cards you may not be aware of, you might be. These aren't brand new things. These are, they're brand new to me because I am always experimenting and dabbling and I read, I'm, I follow Boom Learning on their Instagram account and I follow Boom Learning on their Facebook. And they have tech tips and, on Tuesdays and they have a few other things. And for the most part, I read them. Sometimes I just save them and then I go back at them and then I look at them again and go, oh, hey, I didn't know I could do that. Right. So two of the things that I wanted to talk about today are gifts. Gifts. Uh, what does gift stand for? G I F. Graphic interface. I don't know. I'll look it up. I'll put it. I'll type it here. <laughs> I have no clue. Did you know that you can do gifts in your Boom cards? So gifts are these, you know, little animated images. I actually checked with Boom and they we have been able to do them for a long time. <laughs> but I'm noticing that the sophistication of Boom cards is just growing and increasing and I'm seeing more and more gifts. And with the upcoming TPT sale, I was spending some of my money on buying gifts because it's not something that is, it's not in all my decks. It's not even in some of my newest decks, but it, this is something I'm playing with right now. So if you follow me on Boom Learning and you purchase one of my decks in the next couple weeks, you will see GIFs in my decks. But all you do is you upload them just like an image, just like an image, and then you just insert them. Pretty easy. And tip number two that I wanna talk about, which is something I didn't realize until I watched a tech tip Tuesday, two, three months ago, you can edit images. And for the most part, I don't need to edit images, but there's two things that sometimes I want to do. One of them is crop an image, and the other one is possibly remove a background. Now, you still have to be careful with the terms of use for the, those images if you've purchased clip art or um, something else. So if the terms of use allows you to slightly alter the image, then place where you need to go is right where your images are and it's the last thing. I will put a tiny little clip probably right here. <laughs> and you just click there and then it'll give you these options. But cropping is something I could I've I've could have used a couple times. So I'm excited about that one. I have not used this at all. I found out about it, didn't think about it, was reminded about it going to be using it. <laughs> I think the big thing is cropping sometimes. Things don't always, yeah, right? But you can also remove background. So those are two features that Boom offers. Follow them on Instagram, follow them on Facebook. Again, Tech Tip Tuesdays. They always give great tips. Next thing I want to talk about is the algorithm. One of the things I really like about Boom Learning is I get responses fairly quickly when I ask them questions and I ask questions. I am the type of person that seeks information out. I do belong to a few um, TPT Facebook groups. I belong to a cup. I belong to the Boom Learning Facebook group and the and creating Boom cards and the selling Boom cards, but I really seek information out and I am not afraid to just ask. 
Just go over people's heads and ask. And I have contacted Boom Learning on a number of issues, and one of them is the algorithm. How does your algorithm work? And for the most part, they list products based on which whatever one is newest. Hello. It's whatever's newest. I love that. So they're really encouraging new, fresh products every single day or week. You can go into the search and change it by uh, price, oldest first. <laughs> Maybe you want to see an old product. But they don't really have an algorithm based on keywords. Now, they do offer an opportunity for you to put in uh, tags, much like TPT. But at the, the end of the day, it's about they encourage new, fresh products. And they are keeping an eye out for people that just regurgitate the same product just to get their product back in front of eyes. They see that happening and there's nothing wrong with repurposing, but don't repurpose the exact same one. Do something different to it. Look at that concept from a different angle. I've got cats. I've got cat now on its scratching post. I don't know if you can hear that. Got another cat over there crying. What are you doing? Hey. Who knows? So the algorithm of Boom Learning is not the same as the algorithm to TPT. Just, just understand that. Hello. Oh, <laughs> now the phone is ringing. I'll be, excuse me a minute. Okay, I have no idea what I was talking about. Cats, phones. <laughs> Anyways, when it comes to Boom, there's no algorithm to really try and figure out. They, they really do encourage new, fresh products. So try to keep up with what the trends are, what people are looking for, and just make those products. Or make what you enjoy making. But market them then. Because I do find, and I'm going to talk about this with the next thing when it comes to income, there were a couple strategies that I've implemented that have changed my income, I believe. So let's let's just get into that. I started Boom Learning in July of 2020. I did it because I was watching a webinar on how to teach online language arts. And these teachers were raving about Boom Cards. And I'm like, what are Boom Cards? And Boom Cards have been around for a few years now. I've never heard of them. In fact, I'm, I talk to colleagues in my school now, and many of them have never heard of them. So it, they're still not right out there. But I decided to just go on YouTube. I just sought the information out, and I, I went to Boom Learning's uh, YouTube channel. I watched I watched a couple YouTube ch videos a couple times. So I did it a couple, and one of them I actually just was making a deck while I'm watching the video. The reason why I do video tutorials where I'll say do it with me is because that's how I learn best, by doing it at the same time I'm getting the information. And so that's what I did. And I made my first decks in July of 2020, and I sold three products. I sold those boom cards in July of 2020. In fact, one product was made, and I think three days later it sold. And I was shocked. <laughs> I, I still, I'm still quite surprised by the speed of boom carts. And it happens all the time. I can post something, and 20 minutes later I've got a sale. I, I'm just, and I'm, I have not even advertised it anywhere. It just, it, they just sell. It, it's just amazing to me how boom is so different from TPT. So let me just share a tiny bit about the store and sales and and again what I've done in the last few months that I think have turned around my sales. My goal is always to make about five decks a month and I, my goal is and within those five at least one a week. There are times when I've made as many as ten but then there's times when I've only made four or three. So during the fall my sales were consistent. I was usually selling, I, and I had to write this down here. So September, I sold 12, October 15, November 15, December 12. And they almost every month, every, most all those months were in the 20s, $20 ranges, which was fine. I sell most of my boom cards between two and $5. But in December is when I started bundles. Bundles, bundles, bundles. You need bundles. So I finished, like I said, 12 to 15 products for the fall. 
January sold 23 and almost and I broke almost $50 and I was excited but this is what I did in January strategy number actually strategy number one was I pin my boom cards to death <laughs> I do a lot of pins I learned to do some video pins by talking to someone on the TPT seller forum about how they make video pins for their TPT products and I thought hey I'm gonna do that for boom and that's what I do so I make fresh pins and I make video pins and January is when it kind of got that going January actually more even more February I just remembered one a, a very key strategy that I did in was either J early January or early February I posted a freebie I posted a freebie it gets when it when I first posted it it got <laughs> I don't know 60 70 downloads it was crazy why did I do that two reasons one I think I think it's good once in a while as a teacher seller to offer a freebie that's just me two exposure freebies there are people that are just looking for freebies and so they get your freebie and then they look at your store something to think about February sales went down a little bit. I went I dropped to about 10. Not sure why. Added more bundles. I thought don't I can't control. You can't control. I can't control my sales. People will tell you you can whatever. All I can control is what I do. And so I made more bundles and I decided to make a large product line. And that is number 3. I made a large product line the moment I started seeing some product some cards being sold in March I jumped all over it right? and this was one of these situations where I posted it it sold in 20 minutes two more sold in about an hour later and I thought okay wait a second somebody is looking for this and if somebody's looking for this I'm making more of them and so I made variations of the same product or the same concept and I, like I said, I, I ran with it and it has been fabulous because I went from, um, so 10 units sold in February, 20 units sold in March. So I was back on track here, April, 40, 40 units. And I broke up over a hundred dollars and May is just getting started. And I'm a, I'm a right now have my third highest month and it's only the, first week of May. So March, May could end up being a very good month. We'll see. I know a lot of teachers get out in May. We don't get out till June. We'll see what happens. T um, by the way, Boom does not have a real, uh, they have a referral program, but they don't have a tracking program. And I contacted them not too long ago and I asked them, uh, is this something you're planning to do? And they said, yes, it is but not in the near future. So hopefully as Boom Learning continues to grow, they will have a better tracking system in place because for me personally, I am sure my pins, if it is, if there are anything like the conversion rates I have over on TPT, I would think Boom, because I'm putting more Boom pins up than TPT, I would think they're gonna be similar. That's just my theory. And I'm rolling with it because I'm, the numbers are just going up. And again, that could be from that freebie. That could be from bundles because bundles are selling wonderfully. I don't know which one it is. It could be one of the four. It could be all of the four. But I am thrilled. I am absolutely thrilled with uh, my store. And I'm looking forward to see how it materializes in year two. There you go. I am going to read you that tutorial that I made an absolute mess of absolute mess of uh, there's a lot of black screens I don't I just I spent almost 10 hours on that video that I thought I do not have the strength to not post it so it will be going also I am writing a course it has started I have it going on and I'm really hoping to have it done I'm hoping, thinking by the end, of, my goal is at the end of June. And I, I've got two, actual, one started, the other one's about to be started, but one of them has to do with starting a boom store. If you have got ideas uh, or 
suggestions of what you would like to see in a course, whether it be for Boom or starting a TPT course, please pop them down below. I would love to hear them. N new adventure for me. And uh, again, I am a person who likes to go after things as far as information. I am willing to fail <laughs> miserably. I've done it so many times, you kind of get numb to it. But uh, I just, I love boom cards. I really enjoy boom cards and, and I enjoy sharing that information with all of you. And that is it for today. Next week, I think I talked about a Pinterest video. There is a Pinterest video coming. I don't know if it's going to be ready for next week because I'm going to show you some of my strategies and I want to show you my conversion rates. I am blown away right now by my TPT conversion rates from Pin, Pinterest. Shocked. I really am. And, and for those of you who think Pinterest is not worth it, I think you're wrong. But you do you. <laughs> I'm not here to pressure you, but I think it is a... I think because so many teachers are jumping ship off Pinterest, I think now is a great time to be on Pinterest. I think it's a really good time. Anyways, we'll see. So I hope wherever you are in the world that you and your family are staying safe. Take care of each other and we'll catch you. In the next video. See ya.